This video will be an overview of the arabinose operon. To start off, let's discuss the fundamentals of molecular genetics. An important concept in genetics is known as the central dogma, which states that genetic information is stored in the DNA. DNA can be transcribed into RNA, which can then be translated into proteins. A gene is a segment of DNA that codes for a particular protein and can be classified as either a housekeeping gene or an induced repressed gene. Housekeeping genes are always active, or as scientists say, constitutively expressed in the cell, because the products that they encode are needed at all times. The products of induced repressed genes are not needed at all times by the cell, and can therefore be turned on or off, depending on the cell's current needs. In prokaryotic cells, there are groups of induced repressed genes that are involved in the same metabolic pathways, and therefore need to be active at the same time or co-expressed. To ensure co-expression, these genes are often organized into a transcriptional unit known as an operon, which can be induced when the cell needs it and repressed when it does not. An operon has two main components, a regulatory region composed of genetic sequences that interact with regulatory proteins to control the initiation of transcription, and structural genes, which encode the proteins for that metabolic process. Now let's take a look at an example of an operon in E. coli. E. coli is a type of bacteria that primarily utilizes glucose to provide energy for the cell. But when glucose runs out, the cell relies on alternative energy sources, such as the pentose sugar, L. arabinose. L. arabinose can be broken down by the Arabad operon into d xylose 5 phosphate which will then be further metabolized in the cell. The regulatory region of the Arabad operon can be turned on or off by the ARAC protein, encoded by the ARAC gene immediately upstream of the arabinose promoter. Here, ARAC is seen in its monomeric form, but it is known to link together with other ARAC proteins to form an ARAC dimer. The promoter is the DNA sequence that enables the binding of the enzyme RNA polymerase, which will then transcribe the structural genes of the operon. ERA B, ERA A, and ERA D. In the absence of arabinose, the ERA C protein will act as a repressor of the operon by binding two non adjacent sites in the regulatory region of the operon, O2 and I1. This binding causes the DNA to loop and prevents RNA polymerase from being able to access the promoter region. On the other hand, in the presence of arabinose, the ARAC protein will incur a conformational change and act as an Arabad activator. In this scenario, the ARAC protein will release its grip on the O2 gene locus and instead will bind the two adjacent loci, I1 and I2. This conformational change of the ARAC protein works in conjunction with the activator protein, CAP, to initiate transcription of the Arabad structural genes. In the absence of glucose, CAP will bind the cap site immediately upstream of the core promoter, bend the DNA, and assist in the recruitment of RNA polymerase. In this way, the arabinose operon is induced, and the structural genes will create an RNA transcript encoding the three enzymes that allow the cell to break down L-arabinose for energy. Thank you. 